up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. Today I'm going to show you a great way to add some serious size to your biceps, especially if you're a beginner, and even better, even if you're an advanced lifter, because this exercise should make its way into anyone's program, and it's the underhand barbell row. You see, this one actually made it into what I call my four horsemen, and those are, if I could ride with just four exercises, and I got to live and die with them, what would I do? This is what I would do because I can target a lot more than the biceps here, which makes it a great way to build not just arm size, but foundational strength and movement patterns that we need, especially as beginners. So watch as I do it, because here, guys, it's not just about the name of the exercise, it's how you do it that makes all the difference in the results that you see. You can see that, first and foremost, I'm pulling the bar a lot higher than what I normally would be. You might know of having the bar come up to your, uh, to your rib cage or to your belly button, people have told you. But the movement engages much more bicep if I bring it up higher. And that's for the simple reason that look at the difference that I'm getting in the amount of elbow flexion by pulling the bar higher up. You can see that when I pull it just to, again, rib cage height or down to belly button, I'm getting about 90 degrees of elbow bend. And that's no different than just doing this in terms of flexing your bicep. We know we can get a much bigger contraction if we go beyond 90 degrees. So now if I, as I pull the bar up higher, Look at the amount of elbow flexion I have now. We've gone to about 120 degrees, a much stronger contraction on the bicep, and that's great. That's exactly what we're trying to do. The cool part, though, is this is a compound movement that's also targeting our back. And as you see from the overhead here, it's not just working our back, it's working our upper back, which tends to be one of the weakest areas, particularly on beginners. And not just that, look at the position that it's teaching me here in terms of maintaining stability through my lumbar spine, which becomes crucial as you start to lift heavier and heavier weights. Learn it now. Become a master of this posture now, and you'll be much stronger when you move on to your bigger lifts. And I'm also reinforcing and teaching the hip hinge, which is going to become crucial as you move on to exercises like the deadlift. So for all these reasons, this is a great exercise. Underhand versus overhand, pretty obvious. Again, supinated grip targets more of the bicep than it would if we were overhand. So with just a few tweaks to this exercise, we can turn it into much more than just a bicep exercise, but it allows us to load up the weights pretty high because we're doing, again, an exercise that incorporates not just biceps but the back too, making it a perfect option for someone who's just starting out that needs to add some size but doesn't want to maybe waste all their time focusing on the minutia. Barbell curls, I love them. Dumbbell curls, like, uh, like preacher curls and, and, and concentration curls, not so much. This is not the best way to spend your time, especially if you're a beginner trying to add some serious size to your arms. And again, as the advanced guys, it's just another option, another, another weapon in your arsenal to start adding some new uh, ways to target your biceps because it gets pretty damn tiring and old doing the same old curl over and over again. Here's a new way to start targeting your biceps and giving yourself a chance to load up more weight than maybe you're used to. Guys, if you're looking for a way to add some serious size to your arms, we've got a whole program actually devoted to it. It's called Ultimate Arms. What else would it be called? It's available over at athletenext.com. It's literally all that I learned in my transformation. This is one of them. I started out doing underhand rows back when I was a kid. My brother showed me that doing them this way was a better way to target my arms. I kind of stuck with it and ran with it. I, I give you all my best tips and put it together in a condensed training program over six weeks. You can get that over at athletenext.com. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave your comments and thumbs up below and let me know. I don't care what level you're starting out, beginner or advanced, let me know how you do with this exercise. I'm sure it's going to help you out. All right, guys, I'll be back here again in just a couple days. See ya.